supremacy. And with this particular video, I want to talk about Philadelphia Police Commissioner. He apologized. He didn't know he was a coon. He did not know that he was a coon. How many of you really accept his apology as authentic and genuine? I believe the only reason he apologized is because Master told him to back down. Master told him, now don't be racist now, boy. You know what they did there and Starbucks was wrong. That was racist, boy. Don't be like that. Go out there and set this thing right. Because he wants to defend his master. It's the job of the coon. It's the job of the house negro. To defend his master. If master's sick. Eyes are sick. Weez are sick. So he came out against facts. Not even knowing. What the protocols the standards of Starbucks is not even understanding that he came out quickly in defense of his master oh that wasn't racism they were just trespassing when Starbucks clearly states that it's a place where all people can meet that purchasing something is not necessary according to Starbucks policies Aza didn't know that I was just defending my master. See, he didn't know that he was a coon. But for the record, all black police officers are coons. Every single one of them are coons and race traitors. Unquestionably and unarguably. Every single one of them. So let me put this memo out for all of them. If you're a black cop, you are a coon and a race traitor. Well, some people say, well, they do some good sometimes. Yeah, you could do some good sometimes. The master was good to his slaves every now and then. But we got to call a spade a spade. The overseers, the slave catchers that are black are coons. Each and every one of them. Let's be specific. 39% of people in jail is, are shouldn't be in there. They have not committed violent crimes. That's close to half the people in jail are not even in there for violence. They have not even created committed a violent crime. When you coming out of slavery and your people coming out of being oppressed and you police and get on, on the side to enforce the oppressor and the oppressions and the policy of the oppressor, then you are a coon and a race traitor. You should understand from where your people came from, oppression firsthand. And you're defending your oppressor for a sandwich. For comfort. For a place to live. For acceptance. Defending your slave master. Locking up people. Putting them behind bars that should not be there. That's your job. If I had to choose a job to eat. that's going to oppress others, I will have to give up that job. I couldn't continue to work for a job that I know that's oppressing people, that's exploiting people, that's extorting the poor and the minorities. How could you go to work every day and work for that institution and go to sleep at night with any conscience and think you deserve any respect from the people? You are a black devil. You are a coon. That's not to say they're not some spooks that sat by the door and some people who try to use their job and their position to the advantage of black people. 
but the overall majority of them are coons. Unarguably. They're going against their people. Black police officers are going against their people. We only make up 13% of the population, black people, African Americans. But with 35% of jail inmates and 37% of prison inmates of the 2.2 million male inmates, let's keep this real. So if you are a police officer, you are locking up black people. You are locking up the majority of your own people. 37% of the prison inmates. Black. 35% of jail. County jails. Black. We're only 13% of the population. We're locked up disproportionate to our white counterparts. And to any other nationality. And you proudly work for that institution as a black man? And what's even worse? 39% of those that are locked up. I locked up for non-violent crimes so they don't deserve to be in jail and you are proud to work for that institution. You don't realize that you're a coon and that you're doing nothing but defending white supremacy, defending the slave master, the institutions of white supremacy. But the police chief didn't know he was a coon. He thought he was just doing his job, his racist slave policy enforcing job, his extortion job of the poor and the minorities. His exploitive job, his job of kidnapping and maintaining institutions of white supremacy in America. What type of education have these Negroes got? They sound intelligent and seem to be educated, but they lack any type of real education at all. Or a sandwich is more important than facts and truth. They're not willing to sacrifice and struggle for what's right. That's 99% of the problem for black people who uphold white supremacy in this country and its policies. They don't, they're not willing to sacrifice and struggle for what's just simply right and true. Philadelphia police chief didn't know he was a coon. He thought he was doing his job, you know, just being politi politically correct. People of color as a whole make up 30% of the United States population, but they count of 60% of those in prison. That's people of color in general. One in three black men. Look around, count three black men. One in three of them can expect to go to prison in their lifetime. One in three can expect to go to prison in a lifetime. And that's what you work for. Something that every three black people you look at, one of them can go to prison by statistics. You're working for the largest prison industrial complex. You're working for the largest prison colony in the United States of America if you are a police officer. America locks up more of its people than any other nation. Their businesses is exploitation, extortion, kidnapping. That's their business. That's the industry here. And as a black man, you were part of that. You didn't know you was a coon? Students of color face harsher punishment in schools than their white peers, leading to a higher number of youth of color incarcerated. Locking up the black youth for a sandwich, for a pat on the back by Massa. According to recent data by the Department of Education, African American students are arrested, arrested far more than their white classmates. You are locking up black people, Negro. You are a coon. It didn't take a Starbucks situation to lock up two black men for trespassing. For you to realize you're a fucking coon if you're a, police, if you're a black male police officer. It shouldn't take that. It is obvious. Crack, crunch the numbers, you asshole. African American youth have higher rates of juvenile incarceration and are more likely to be sentenced to a, as an adult in prison. As the number of women incarcerated has increased by 800% over the last three decades, women of color have been dispro disproportionately represented. More black women being locked up than any other woman in the United States of America. Women's prison full of black women. Who are you fucking locking up, man? 
You've made a lot of mistakes, police commissioner of Philadelphia. You've made a lot of mistakes. Your job in its of itself was a fucking mistake. The biggest mistake you could have made was joining the side of your oppressor. Joining the side of white supremacy. The war on drugs has been waged primarily in communities of color where people of color are more likely to receive higher offenses. So they're locking them up for long, longer periods of time. Locking up more black people for longer periods of time than their male counterparts. So not only are we making up 39 percent of those incarcerated or 37 percent and 39 percent of those are nonviolent crimes blacks are going to even be locked up for longer for the same offenses as their white male counterparts that's who you work for negro you're cooning you didn't know you was cooning you didn't know you was a sellout in Uncle Tom? Once convicted, black offenders receive longer sentences as compared to white offenders. Voters' laws that prohibit people with felony convictions to vote disproportionately affect men of color. So they're stripping black people of their political power in this government through voting by incarcerating them. You're participating with that. And an officer, you're the greatest perpetrator. Of oppression than any other type of criminal group in our community. Black police officers affect our community negatively more than any other group. Because they defend white supremacy which prevents the black community from becoming a powerful, independent, and self-sufficient entity. And they use people of color that look just like us. To keep us locked in the matrix and keep us limited under oppression. The biggest offense to the black race is the black fucking police officer. Because they should know better. Oh, it's just a job. I'm just doing my job. You're just a fucking sellout. Coon. And a race traitor. Studies have shown that people of color face disparities in wage trajectory following release from prison. Following, it's affecting our economics. You didn't know you was a coon, Mr. Philadelphia Police Commissioner? You didn't know that, huh? You're just doing your job and enforcing the policies. Your officers did their job oppressing black people. They did their job. And they did it properly and correctly. It's just because it had blown out of proportion in the media. And triggered white guilt. That we just have an apology now from you. But your entire job is oppressing black people worse than those two individuals that were were arrested in trespass in Starbucks for trespassing. It's affecting black people as a whole more than they will ever be affected, those two individuals. And it's done way more travesties to blacks. The law enforcement, the police department has done more of a travesty than blacks as a whole. That I'm pretty sure you're overlooking. And it's just a day's work for you. But the Philadelphia police commissioner didn't know he was cooning. He apologized. I of all people should understand racism. If you understood racism, you would quit your fucking job as a police officer. You do not understand racism. You do not understand race and nationalism. You do not understand it. And you're not going to start because of the Starbucks incident. You would be turning in your badge if you understood racism. You'd be locking up the very individuals whose policies that you are supposed to enforce. He apologizes though. He didn't know he was cooning. Those men were just doing their job. We understand your job very clearly. We have a very clear understanding of what your job is. How many of you are cooning, man? Police officers are coons and sellouts. Black police officers are coons and sellouts. Are disgusting disrespect to the black race. Unquestionably. Because they enforce racism, but they are in black skin. 
and they enforce racial policies daily. When it comes to black justice, you have to be willing to break the laws that support racism. The laws that propagate racism, that perpetuate racism. You have to break those laws, not enforce them and defend them. What are you defending? What are you fighting for? Who and what are you protecting? I look at black police officers and I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it that they think they are doing a service to humanity and to society. What they don't read, they don't study, they don't look at the statistics or the facts, I do not understand. What are you holding? What are you protecting? Each black cop need to be laid across our knees and spanked on the ass for disgrace. It's a disgrace, disgrace to black people, it's a disgrace to humanity, human rights, human dignity, and it is the highest, most blatant act of self-hatred that one could participate in as being a black police officer in the United States of America. And they try to use the fact that there are heinous crimes out here and people doing real heinous crimes to justify the 39% of people in jail for nonviolent crimes that are being maintained, being watched, and kidnapped, and held, and locked in cells 24 hours a day for years. But you're telling us, well, we're really fighting real crimes. We're really keeping the real bad guys off the street. But you're keeping more of the good guys locked up than you're keeping more of the bad guys off the street. You're keeping more innocent people, who people who don't belong in jail in jail than you are keeping bad cops or guys off the streets. The bad guys on the streets is the fucking police. I don't care about the propaganda that they put out. It's obvious that their brothers is not those of color that look like them. Their brother is a fellow Caucasian officer and they have more respect for white police officers than they do for their own black people. I had to speak on this. I don't give a goddamn. This King Noble Black Supremacy signing out.